Hi, this is Dr. Jim, uh, talking with you today about the fetal heart rate. Uh, this is the third of, of a five-part segment on fetal monitoring, why we do it, what we see when we do it, and, and uh, it's, a, it's my way of saying to mom, dad, and the unborn baby, let's make certain that you have a good, healthy, happy outcome, and better understanding what fetal monitoring is about, why we use it, and what we do when we see problems with it. Normal baby heart rate is 110 to 160 beats per minute. That is, we like to see the baby's heart rate between 110 and 160. Normal adults are 70 to 80 beats per minute. And within that 110 to 160 range, we like to see the baby's heart rate vary somewhere between 6 and 25 beats per minute. So every baby has a baseline rate, and above and below that baseline rate, we like to see 6 to 25 beats per minute. That's normal. If the baby's heart rate slows below that, and, and that means that it's less 5 beats or less per minute, that gives us some pause and some concern and prompts us to investigate why that may be occurring. On the other hand, if it's greater than uh, 25 beats per minute and uh, really going rapidly, that suggests a po possible stress or distress as well. Just like when your heart, when you're under stress, your heart rate goes up, so does a baby. And in fact, that's the mirror that we use, the reflection that we use to determine whether or not a baby uh, in the, in during labor and delivery may or may not be having unusual stress or distress and if we need to act upon that it doesn't mean that you uh, doesn't mean that you change anything uh, in particular but you certainly observe carefully and you look for things like meconium maternal fever you look for vaginal bleeding you wonder if the uterus is contracting too uh, rapidly and too intensely and what you may be able to modify in that range to get the heart rate looking uh, like you wanted to. It may just be the maternal position and getting better blood flow to the baby. So anyway, that's about the baby's heart and the reflection on the fetal monitor uh, that uh, means the baby's doing, looks like the baby's doing just great or maybe having some stress or distress. I'm not going to show you three uh, video clips of a of fetal heart monitors. In the first strip, you'll notice that there's the baby's heart rate, which is in the upper portion of the graph. You see it going along, and it's varying really nicely in that 6 to 25 beats per minute range. And that's, that's looking good. That's what I like to see when I go in the room. And I also like to see on that bottom graph, the uterus contracting about every three beat, uh, three. Uh, every three minutes in a what looks to be a pretty uh, normal uh, intensity and strength, doing everything necessary to move that baby down the birth canal and have uh, a healthy, happy baby at the end of it. In the second screenshot, you'll see um, a fetal monitor that shows that five or beats per minute or less. You can hardly see how the heart rate is varying at all. It almost looks like what you might say is flatline. Now it's not, of course, but it's not beating uh, with a variation of 6 to 25 a minute, and that suggests stress. Now it may also suggest that the baby's sleeping, so what we can do is um, stimulate the baby's scalp and see if they wake up and the heart rate starts to beat at 6 to 25 uh, uh, variation uh, again uh, like it's supposed to. And, and uh, again, in that at the bottom of this strip, mom's uterus looks like it's uh, contracting appropriately within uh, 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 good strength, moving that baby down. In the third and final video clip, uh, you see a baby's heart rate up in that, on that upper uh, graph. It's just going crazy. It's going up and down and really beating rapidly. Down below, the uterus looks to the uterine contractions look to be normal. They look to be uh, just fine. But what's causing the baby to have that increased heart rate? Now we don't know that it means anything, but it means that we reassess because remember, the goal is a healthy, happy baby. And this is Dr. Jim, and my goal for you is to be healthy and to be happy. Uh, thanks for joining us on this third segment and stay tuned for the next segment, which will be about heart rate decelerations or slowing down below that 110 measurement that we're talking about. Don't forget to subscribe to Be Healthy, Be Happy University. And this is Dr. Jim for Be Healthy, Be Happy.